Well, we're going to begin tonight with that water main nightmare for five communities. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. It all started with a water main break in Macomb Township at 24 Mile and North Avenue right around 6 this morning. Shopper 7 was over the scene. The 36 inch pipe ruptured, causing a river of water to flow into nearby fields. And now five communities are all under a mandatory boil water advisory for at least the next two days. Seven Action News reporter Darren Cunningham in Macomb Township with a look at the impact the break is having. The gentleman who lives here says he's wondering just how long the fix for this broken water main is going to take. I'm told it could take a week or up to two weeks. It really just depends on what crews find once they get down to the ruptured pipe, about 20 feet down. I dialed 911 at 6 o'clock and they were already aware of it. So they told me exactly where it was. I said, yeah, that's in front of my house. Dave Armstrong says the burst of water from a broken water main sounded like a heavy duty sump pump this morning. It's just a rush of water. So, and I looked out the window when it was, you know, gushing and the Great Lakes Water Authority or GLEWA says crews discovered the leak around 6 a.m. on 24 Mile Road near North Avenue. It was coming from a 36 inch water transmission main. While crews restored water pressure around 1045 a.m., GLEWA still has a boil water advisory in effect. Here's a map of the areas impacted. The village of New Haven, the city of Rochester, Lenox, Chesterfield, and of course, Macomb Township. I'm uh, just preparing some water. I drink a lot of water, so I need water. Rocky Polisi is taking the advisory seriously. He lives about a quarter mile from the rupture. Things happen. You just got to deal with it and put up with it <laughs> until it's fixed. Across the street. We're in a pretty good situation where it's not affecting us a whole lot. Taylor Daly says she and her three housemates are getting by just fine on their supply of bottled water. Of all days, she says she's got a friend flying in from Germany. It might be a little inconvenient to have to boil water if we make dinner tonight, but otherwise we won't really be impacted whatsoever. I spoke with Gliwa's chief executive officer, Suzanne Coffey. What was the cause of this rupture? Is that uh, we don't know the cause yet. We got to get down to the pipe, take a look at it. Nothing abnormal was occurring in the system. We know that. We will be staying on top of this and we'll update you when we have more information to report. In Macomb Township, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. And we have much more on the communities impacted by this boil water advisory and the steps you should be taking to keep your drinking water safe. You just go to WXYZ.com and ahead on 7 Action News at 6, we are talking with business owners about the flood of people trying to get their hands on bottled water. 